Hey guys, Joe Blackman94 here. I'm going to be reacting to The Walking Dead Season 8, Episode 4, Some Guy. So we're getting King Zeke preparing himself for war. I hope he ain't gonna die this episode because they're giving us this first. And we will bleed. And yet I smile. How long are you gonna be smiling? They mauled your group down. Last episode, Some man. Desperate murderers thrilled by blood. Smile. You smiling, I'm smiling, man. People hate on this show, and yet I smile. But then this happened. Obviously he's still alive though. But it's like, damn. Bodies everywhere. King alive. They protected him. Be careful like moving those bodies, cause like a they could just reanimate in a second and just like bite your neck off, man. <laughs> Knew it. <laughs> it was about time. It was one of them was about to get up. <laughs> one of them did. And if that one's gonna follow, so will another. They basically kind of die at the same time. Why is he st exactly like? Come on! Why are you still like there? Come on! Where's your cane? Get your damn cane and start killing them off. That's not your people no more. They're walkers. Damn. I hope you're all regretting of like that shootout you I had at the sanctuary, wasting all your good bullets. Shame. Oh, I thought that was gonna be Jerry right there. He's like Jerry. Jerry's not dead though. Damn, Cooting, that's why he couldn't run. He got shot in the leg, or just got injured from the people toppering over him. And that was the weapon that crippled the kingdom's forces. Damn it! Alright, let's go. Carol saved the damn day, kill them all. Damn! Cleared those guys out. Hmm, <laughs> smart. Hides in the damn ceiling. Didn't see that coming. Damn, you're not having a good day, freaking Ezekiel. Hands up. Yo, you better play like the role of a hopeless like hostage. And then just knife. Forgot about your blade. Give it to me. Damn it. That's how I can walk. You can keep the cane. Play the charade, man. Just knife him while taking it out. Oh, that could have been your chance, man. This save reminds me a little bit of Jim Carrey. Kill them all. Damn. Got a pin behind the car. This would be a great time if she had a grenade. Oh, you're not quick enough, man. Yo, Kara should have told you how to like kill people, okay. man, before leaving. I can't climb that. No. No. What do you mean? You supposed to take him alive like Negan said. Negan was hoping to have your ass chained to the sanctuary fence. You, the widow, Rick. Yeah. Who? Jerry, get this man some cobbler and a tall glass of milk. I don't understand. You're dealing with <laughs> Carol here. Wow, favorite gun. <laughs> I say we should have shot her. <laughs> oh, I don't know who this is. This is the one with the cookies here. Damn. Even with the damn sword, still though. <laughs> you don't need to call me that. Boy, he's saving your life. Yes, I do. He can call you anything. <laughs> this really ain't smart, though. Where are they? And being smart, you should have like killed Carol. Like keeping her alive was dumb. <laughs> Lower your guns. 
She should have taught King Ezekiel that before I'm leaving the kingdom. Could have saved his life there. <laughs> they don't care. And she got a gun. Oh, so that was a real plan. Opening that gate. Smart Carol. Come on, put some back into it, Jerry. Damn, Jerry. Were you really thinking through that? Teamwork here, teamwork. Thank you, Your Majesty. For what? Being such a cool dude. Damn right. Let's do this. Why don't you come at us and find out? We're right here! <laughs> oh, save is now your pin. Yep, Carol. King, Zicky, and Jerry. You know you're gonna go and help them out. Don't even bother with the scene. <laughs> we know she's gonna help them out, people. made the decision on who I will be. Was it easier for you? <laughs> no, it wasn't. She had to lose her damn daughter. Oh, no. <laughs> she wasn't. Is brave. She had an abusive husband. You decide to be who you are today? She had to decide. I decided. So many times. You know Carol's gonna freaking save him. It's all right. We get them next time. We're not getting them to the sanctuary. Was that the motorcycle, Daryl's motorcycle we just heard? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Daryl and Rick, because Rick got the car, so it would make sense that they would know where the guns were heading towards. Down there on their way. Convenience. Stupid. Keep your eyes on the road. If you have a man in the back of your car manning the guns, let him worry about Rick and Daryl. Like, that was gonna be your F up moment. Daryl would save. Now here come Rick gonna pull up on him. <laughs> oh, you're going down, save you're going down. Hmm. <laughs> you definitely did. If you really thought Rick just died there, Daryl, you have not been paying attention. If you're gonna kill off freaking Rick Grimes, it ain't gonna be like something like that. Oh, come on. Nah. Some guy. You're not some guy, man. With the save! Yo, attack, and now run. No! No, no. Why are you not helping, though? That could have literally just went up and started, like, hitting some walkers, though. Yo, wait, it's still alive? No. Oh my gosh, they did it. From the horse to the deer, damn it. Now the damn tiger. We all keep on calling this, but still, damn. They ate the damn tiger in front of King Ezekiel, no less. Damn. <laughs> Got to left like, wait, where's everyone else? That's all, homie. Everyone else is dead. Except for some of the, I think some of the um, saviors like branched off though, but those that stayed with King Ezekiel are gone. Besides Jerry. <sighs> Sorry kid, we bite the dust. Damn. <laughs> oh my gosh, so uh, I'm not gonna lie. I, I enjoyed the episode, you know. This episode was like a King Ezekiel episode from the first starting with King Ezekiel and it freaking ended with King Ezekiel. You know, I was like, so if you hate King Ezekiel, <laughs> you probably didn't like this episode. <laughs> you probably were happy that, you know, he basically was like going out into this depressing stage, whatever. It's like, I would expect this to happen for him because like since day one, he was always happy with that damn smile. Just like with the speech, the damn smile. Oh, this is happening and yet I smile. This is happening, yet I smile. It's like, God damn it. It's like if you keep on hearing me saying, you know, even though I'm broke, 
yet I still smile. I have this weird hairline, and yet I still smile. It's like, oh my gosh, okay. We get you. <laughs> we get your good motivational speaker, though, but at the same time, you have to, like, acknowledge, like, yo, one day that smile is going to turn upside down. And today <laughs> was that day. It was like, his people got mulled down in front of him because he saw everyone molded down before that like last week episode it was like no one is dead like he was even shocked himself and then when it actually happened he let out that damn yell and it was like crazy damn it like just damn like but then it was like the lead up to it where we saw before like kane's equal and like freaking carol they had their moment there and it was it's, it's interesting that they had that moment i actually love that they put that in the episode you know, writers, you did good, in my opinion, <laughs> for that portion where, you know, King Ezekiel was like, well, I wasn't like this king, whatever. At one point, I was just seeing a random zookeeper. There was this one point, it just changed my life. I'm this guy now. And I highly doubt that, you know, you, Carol, like, you were born this way or anything. It was a decision. There was something that happened to you, and you became Carol that we know today. And, like, we look at season one, Carol, and look at her now. Yeah, she lost people. She had to make certain decisions, kill freaking people. Goddamn, look at the flowers, Lizzie. Look at the damn flowers. Like, so much damn stuff. And it did change Carol to woman she is today. That's why you hardly see her smile and she's making some damn cookies. But, yeah, just... And now King Ziggly finally had that loss. So it's like, if you're going to have some character development with King Ziggly... It's gonna happen. I can see like the same thing what happened with freaking Herschel, like I said my, in the reaction portion. Just like how Herschel, when he lost, you know, well, he did like lose like his like, I forgot like which fan members of his was like, became zombies. And then when they decided to like, oh, kill off all the zombies that were damn in the freaking like farm. And then he actually went into that kind of like breakdown, whatever, saying like, oh my goodness, like, Ricky, you were right. And all this other stuff is like, there's going to be a time, I think there's like another character like that. Same, you can kind of say with Andrea as well when it came to her sister and then she basically kind of like went out of it and she wanted to die and whatever. So, depression state. You see in The Walking Dead dozens of times. But it's like, now King Zeke is going to go through that. And now he has to like acknowledge it. Yeah, you know what? It was war. I lost some people. And you know what? Even freaking his people to freaking Shiva. Like, Shiva basically gave up damn life a damn thing. So, hopefully, it goes through his mind that he wasn't just some guy. He was someone. And it, uh, I don't know when. Is it going to be the end of this first half? Or maybe even, like, in the second half of the season? We're not even going to, like, have any more Zeke. I won't be surprised if this is, like, the only portion of him for this first half of season eight we're going to have. But next one... Probably going to get more of, like, Jerry talking to him. Especially, like, I really want more of Carol just talking to him. Actually, this guy, I'm, like, out of this damn funk here. And that he is still freaking their king. And that he should still, like, lead the kingdom. And I, hopefully they will come to that point where he's going to say, like, oh, I should, like, dethrone myself with this and that. And now, then everyone's be like, no, you did your best. And that's what you did. Like, when it comes to war, you're going to say your damn speech. You're either going to win or lose, whatever. But you're still going to have your people. The same people who you've been trying to help and save and nurse them back in this damn apocalypse. So, hopefully, as that's played out, it'll be good and enjoyable. If it fails, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> but yeah, at the end of the day, I'm probably going to be at that episode and be like, you know what, I enjoyed it. <laughs> and then probably, you know, just in time, I'm going to hate it, though. <laughs> but yeah, a like or dislike the video. Comment on what you guys thought of the episode. If you're new, please subscribe. I'm the broke black man 94 and I am signing off. And oh my gosh, this freaking shaky freaking camp thing. It's, it's driving me nuts.